Hello, welcome to this mix-up, and today in this mix-up we have Fruity King Mini Soda Artificially Flavored Fruit Punch, Caffeine-Free. And I, I saw it had real sugar, so I was excited to buy it, especially it was only 33 cents, 5.75 ounces. So two of these would be um, 11 and a half ounces, not quite a full bottle. Um, it's from Gonac in Nuevo Leon, Mexico. It's imported through Sugar Land, Texas. Uh, they use a, a, a substance called neotame, and I didn't know what neotame was, but as it turns out, it's a sugar substitute, so artificial sweetener at the end of the ingredients. I don't know why they felt like they needed to add artificial sweetener in it. There are a few video reviews for this, and I intend to watch them. Uh, oh, I forgot the glass. Go get that. Got it. Okay, so um, we're going to mix it up with Vadovska sugarcane vodka, of all things, from Mexico, also produced for Dubai Island International. Introduced in 2015. It's got a nice looking label with different shades of blue, different shades of red, and silver and brown. This was $7.99. Now I paid $8.99 for the Nikolai Premium Vodka or Premium Liqueur. But I got this one for $7.99. Crazy, right? I read some bad reviews on it, but um, then I tried, but then other people were saying it was good. And, I, and it was like 10 good reviews and three bad ones. So I figured it's probably pretty good. And, are, and I tried it, and it is. The 10 people praising it were right. It's not fantastic. And it tastes like silver rum, clear rum. I don't know. But it's vodka, they say, made from sugar cane. It's triple distilled. And then it's filtered through charcoal, it says on the label, 10 times. And uh, smells a little bit like sugar cane stalks, you know, that grassy sugar cane stalk. And it tastes like sugar cane stalks, grass and sugar juice, sugar cane juice. So they don't, however they distill it, and when they distill it three times and then they filter it, they're not filtering out the sweetness because it is sweet. Not overly sweet, but it's sweet, like a white rum. So Now this uh, Fruity King, last of the four pack. Then I got to move on to other items. Does it smell like fruit punch? <sighs> it smells mostly like citrus. Sweet, but not too sweet. Carbonated, but low carbonation. Fruit punch, like a Hawaiian punch. Yeah, something like that, I'd say. Go along with that. How does it mix with the mix-up? And the mix-up which includes the Vadovska. It's fine. I wouldn't necessarily serve this at a wedding reception, but um, you know, maybe at a birthday party or something in the backyard, you know, informal type gathering. Yeah, it'd probably work. People would drink them. Have a ice chest full of these fruity kings. You get a whole ice chest full. It wouldn't pay much. And uh, have the Vadovska and the Nikolai. <clears throat> People would drink it. Might make you ill after a while of drinking too many of these things. But if you had uh, four bottles, which is less than two full size cans of um, fruit punch or Blueberry flavored soda pop, probably be all right. Spike it with a little vodka and be controlled in that 
the sense it'll probably be okay. Drink a lot of water also. Okay, so this uh, Fruity King, how would I score it? It's kind of heavy on the lemon, but I, they don't use real fruit in it. It's artificial, but I'll go at 82, like B minus. It's marginally good, but it's good in a sense. The Vodovska is still a B. Yeah, it's still scoring a B, 85 out of 100. Good product, believe it or not. I only have one more vodka in this house, and I have not opened the bottle yet, yet and I have not watched any video reviews or read any reviews for Colson's vodka. Don't know anything about Colson's, really. I know a little bit about it, but that's another time for maybe a year from now. Close to a year from now. All right, so laissez les bon temps relay. I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to a Mexican sugarcane vodka distillery.